Give me the wind, take me home, roll the windows down. Come on, Willis. You love Grandma's house. Oh, hey, Mom. Did you bring Chewy? I did. Oh, good. They can play. If you don't mind, we can just sit outside. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Let's Chewy, go. Chewy, your lip stuff. How have you been? Good. Really good. Just staying home, absolutely doing nothing. I've been in my pajamas watching TV. Such a How about crazy you? time. Great. You I'm lost too. weight. You look healthy and fit. And... Yeah, I've been eating really healthy and good. not drinking. That's so excellent. Great. Good for so you. Amazing. Chewy, come on. Are they still there? I guess they drink out of the pool a lot, it's, huh? It's okay. The pool man was here today, but he didn't. What, today? Come on, Chewy. He didn't chlorinate it. He didn't work. Get out of there. See? No, you're well, going to be such if he's a protective put, no, if he's father, fresh Brody. Chlorine, that's you not, always that's accuse me. Mom, you're so overly protective no, as a mother. There's going to be no father things anytime soon. You know, so. you never know. You might eventually decide to. You got to meet the right person to do that. Well, that's for sure. Sometimes when you meet the right person, you become the right person. And you think, well, yeah, this is a woman that can make me want to settle down and have babies. No, I'm, I'm just teasing you, you know. There's no pressure. Shooey. Does he follow you to the bathroom and everywhere? Yes, we're in a serious, committed relationship. Aw, Shooey. Yeah, are you and Brody in a committed yes, relationship? Yes, we are. We're in love. Aww. We're in love. Do you have any other uh, committed or non-committed relationships going? <laughs> Not really. I mean, I'm. there's a girl that I'm kind of hanging sure. out with, but just very very chill that's such a powerful place to be when you're okay if it happens you're okay if it doesn't it's not just a matter of finding the right person it's a matter of being the right person you have to be whole and complete like there's no such thing as my better half my mother gives the best advice she's had some pretty crazy relationships in her life she's been married twice she was with elvis presley for five years through his addiction with drugs and she's she's seen a lot. She didn't tell me exactly how it went down. She taught me the way it should have gone down. And I think that that was a very good thing to do, to treat a young, impressionable kid the right way to do it, as opposed to the wrong way. My main goal is for you to be happy. Well, the main thing I do not want to do is rush into anything that I'm not ready for. Oh, for sure. We live in just a different time, it's crazy. Yeah. There's like all these dating apps and shit. Yeah, like, Tom tried to get me to sign on to Raya. He invited we're me. We're not going to be doing that. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to try to set up an OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, I was looking into that. It sounds like Mom. fun. I don't know much about it. Mom. But you get like paid to. You get paid to take your clothes off. Well, couldn't you just like show a shoulder or. Hey, Mom, please just let's. Tell a titillating let's story. Let's do a different. Let's, no. Come on, Chewy. You ready to go? <laughs> Want to go? I'm only tormenting you. <laughs> Just anything to torment you. A long drive for the first time. Yeah. A more time for the third time. In the road, traffic jam in the minivan. Yeah. But it ain't calling under my skin anymore. I hope it'll be like a good little ultrasound and the baby will be growing. And... I feel very confident, but you know, I don't want to mitigate what we, especially, you know, and you, you we all had to go through back in July. I have a lot of fear based around the molar pregnancy, and I'm nervous that something will be wrong. But then on the other hand, I feel like I've lost so much time that now I'm like trying to catch up. Oh my God, I'm so right, nervous. Take a deep so nervous. I love you. Don't make me cry. I love you too. When it comes to supporting Ashley, that's my number one priority. Even as a dad, I mean, there is there is fear because you're like, okay, well, you know, is this something that can happen again, or is, are we going to ever have a problem having a child, and are we going to have issues the rest of our life, or was that just a one-off fluke? Hi, darling. Okay. Hey, Doc. How's it going? Good. How are you? All right. We're all nervous here. But we all are. Yeah. Let me hold up to you. Can you see it up from there? Yeah, I can see it. All right, look. Here's a heart. It's got a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so here. Oh my. Right there, and there's the heart. So we're good. Um. Woo. The feeling of the love that you have 
for your child and the love that you get in return. Thank God. There's nothing out there that's like that. It is the most gratifying feeling in the world. I mean, my favorite moment every single day, if I could repeat one moment in my life, is when I come home and Delilah runs at me and just screams, Daddy, 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 and gives you a bear hug. That's the best feeling in the entire world. I know. So